What's going on guys? It's me again. First and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video. Secondly, this video is proudly brought to you by Redcon1. Now for anyone who's been around this YouTube channel for any length of time, you may know or you may not that the reason I begun this channel was to do with bodybuilding and fitness. In fact, I've always had a passion for bodybuilding and fitness and I still do. So it made sense to finally connect with a worldwide trusted supplement brand. And the one that I've chosen for this YouTube channel is Redcon1. Now personally, I've been using Redcon 1 products for a good five years. The first product I ever used was Total War. It's a pre-workout. I don't use pre-workouts all the time, but if I do, you can bet your bottom dollar I'm going straight for that Total War. You know, Redcon 1 as a brand is going from strength to strength. Head over to their website and check out their entire range of products. It's not just Total War and it's certainly not just supplements. They've got everything. So, whether you are from the United States, whether you're from Canada, or whether you're from the UK and Europe, you have an opportunity to head down into the description box below, check out the website link for whichever of the three regions you're in, use code T20JMC. So that's T20JMC for 20% off your order. And look, whether it's a t-shirt, a snapback, or a tub of Total War, I can guarantee you're gonna be happy. Once again, this video is brought to you exclusively by Redcon1. Myself and my YouTube channel are proud to be partnered with Redcon1. Head down into the description box below, check out all of the information, and uh, well, happy lifting, guys. And peace out. What's up, guys? It's me again. Welcome back to another episode of Rugby Player Reacts. I am your host, Jacob McDonald, and today, well, it's uh, it's the next day, it's, uh, it's actually the 7th of September, and it's early morning. As you can probably tell, we've got light streaming in, and it's absolutely lovely. But what that means is that it's going to take the light from the rest of the shot. So until the clock strikes about 8.30 in the morning, we're just going to have to deal with it. Guys, I'm not going to lie, yesterday was a little bit of a struggle. I was still hungover 48 hours after drinking. 48 hours. I don't know what the hell I did to myself, clearly poisoned myself. Look, at the end of the day, there is one stat that I'm going to let you know that I've got from my Garmin GPS watch that tracks my heart rate. All right. When I'm that hungover, I get such an extreme level of anxiety that it actually shoots my heart rate up at least 10 beats per minute instantly. So on the Friday, I woke up, my resting heart rate was under 50. On Saturday, I woke up, my resting heart rate was above 60. On Sunday, started feeling slightly better it came down to about 57. monday which was yesterday clearly felt you know almost 100 percent, but not quite came down to about 52 beats per minute call it 53 and then this morning i've woken up i've looked at my heart rate throughout my sleep it's been nice and flat and the average is down to around about 50 again so literally it went up and then it slowly but surely tapered back down and that is literally my body telling me you poisoned me you bastard and now we're good so, with all that in mind, that was my weekend. How's yours? Ah, anyways, look, enough shit talk. It is time to look at Khalil Mack. And uh, look, speaking of shit talk, you wouldn't do it to a guy like this. So guys, without further ado, uh, I realize you can hardly see me. But uh, let's roll the intro and crack into this. Right guys, are we ready? Khalil Mack, from none other than the Chicago Bears. Let's see what's up. Come on, baby. Hey, they don't get in. They don't get in. They don't get in. As in, to the end zone? No matter what, they don't get in. Hey, 40, 40, 40. They don't get in. Did you not hear me? They don't get in. Yeah, he was up there last year. I knew that much. Who's the toughest guy you had to block this year? Toughest guy I had to block this year. Who's this guy? Offensive line? Tight end. Toughest guy I had to block this year. Every time I see this guy, I instantly think he's a lineman. But he's a tight end. He looks monstrous. It was towards the end of the game against Chicago, Khalil Mack. I couldn't do nothing with him. I could, I couldn't, I couldn't do nothing with him. You know what I mean? Yeah, we, we gotta. You couldn't what? It was towards the end of the game against Chicago, Khalil Mack. I couldn't do nothing with him. I could, I couldn't, I couldn't do nothing with him. You know what I mean? Yeah, 
said, we, we got to draw something up different. It was too easy for him. In 2020... I want to know what he said. Sorry, guys. It's going to piss me off. Let's put some subtitles on, see if they can help. <laughs> it was towards the end of the game against Chicago, Khalil Mack. Got that part. I couldn't do nothing with him. Ooh, oh, it did help me. I couldn't do nothing with him. I, could, I couldn't. I couldn't do nothing with him. I couldn't do nothing. And I tell you what, guys, I was never, ever going to get that. So, cheers. Subtitles. Might use that again sometime. They must have all different accents built in to the software. And I guess that does make sense. Draw something up different. It was too easy for me. In 2020, Khalil Mack made it look easy, leading the Bears in sacks once again. That's a force to be reckoned with right there. I do not want to be a tackle. It's just something about Jonathan Taylor. I don't know what it is. Well, I do actually. He's a nice guy and he can ball out. Yeah, it's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long day for your ass, boy. Khalil Mack beat the block and took a rookie to school and got to the quarterback. That's not Tristan Wirfs he got past, is it? Yeah, that ain't suplex worse. Tell you one guy that won't like that, and that's Tristan Wirfs. And I can say he certainly won't like getting flipped over like that. That's a 300 and something pound man, six foot five. He's getting flipped over? It's not judo, mate. Sack. You know, whenever you have a guy like that, look at that. You know, that's We're gonna watch that again. Khalil Mack beat the block and took a rookie to school and Ooh. got to the court. See, it was that little inside step, that little stutter, got Tristan Wirfs to slightly step on the inside. Khalil Mack, bang, back on the outside, and he's round him. Let's watch it again. Khalil Mack. There's a little step on the inside, bang. To yep. and got to the quarterback. Yeah, and then he suplex worse after he made the sack. You know, whenever you have a guy like that, that's... Took a rookie to school and got to the quarterback. So he got the sack, but yeah, not only that. Suplex. Tristan Wirth's like, you know what, bro? You might have got the sack, but in fact, Tom Brady's looking at this. This is such a cool situation. We've got the rookie tackle. We've got the goat, Tom Brady. And we've got the bulldozer, Khalil Mack. It's worse after he made the sack. You know, whenever you have a guy like that, that's, you know, that disruptive where he's demanding chip help from a running back. You know, he's demanding two guys on him. Hey man! Go let! <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of holding. Possibly. You need to focus on this guy because if not, he can single handedly mess this game up for us. Yes, sir! Man, he has this move where you come off the ball and he can just literally take his one arm and just throw you like three yards this way. <laughs> he's tossing. Damn. Alright, so if he's coming round. He's going to get that inside arm around you. And at the last second, if he wants to throw you off, he's going to put absolutely everything into it. He's done it so many times before. It's such an effective move. Like I said, this is uh, this is NFL football, not not judo. And certainly not the UFC. Although he'd probably be successful at all three. So I'm left and right. That's what makes Khalil Mack so great is just his power. I mean, he's walking dudes right back to the quarterback. It's amazing how just, you know, a human being could be that dominant. The blitz is coming. Khalil Mack! Do it again! Yeah. Do it again! He loves the Giants, doesn't he? He's like a silent, deadly guy. And to be honest, and to be honest, I'd be doing myself and you guys a complete disservice if we didn't at least look up his stats and exactly what happened in that Giants game. And there he is now, Khalil Mack, playing for the Bears. Looks like a big teddy bear, to be fair. Six foot three, 270 pounds, running around like a headless chicken. That's dangerous. Pick number five in the first round of the 2014 draft. Played at the Raiders for four years from 14 to 17. He's been at the Bears since 18. He was named the NFL Defensive Player of the Year in 2016. Six-time Pro Bowler. That's six in a row. Now that's consistency. 2015 to 2020. He made the NFL 2010's All-Decade Team and he made the 100 Greatest Bears of all time. We'll call him six foot two and a half. He's 251 pounds. 465 for the 40 yard dash. He's got a hand size of over 10 inches, which is large. He's got a vertical jump of 40 inches, which is up there with the best of them. A broad jump of 10 foot 8, a bench press effort of 23. And he's playing linebacker? Put this man in, a running back, goddammit. So he signed a four year, $18.65 million contract in 2014. In 2017, the Raiders picked up the fifth year option. 2018, following Max holdout throughout the entire preseason. 
The Raiders traded him. On September 1st, 2018, following Max holdout throughout the entire preseason. And this brings me back, man, because I literally took my first look at football in May of 2018. September 2018, I wouldn't have known who the hell Mac is. I wouldn't have known what the fuck was going on. But, believe it or not, on September 1st, following Mac holding out throughout the entire preseason, the Raiders traded him a second round pick and a conditional fifth round pick in 2020. This is, um, this is, okay, sorry. <laughs> I just tried to read this about four or five times and it just gets longer and longer and longer. But it is interesting. So this is how Khalil Mack started his 2018 season. On September 1st, 2018, following Mack's holdout throughout the entire preseason, the Raiders traded him a 2020 second round pick and a conditional fifth round draft pick in 2020 to the Chicago Bears for a first round pick in 2019, which was Josh Jacobs, and a 2020 first round pick, which was 19th overall Damon Arnett, as well as a 2019 sixth round pick which was cycled through multiple trades, resulting in the Raiders selecting Trayvon Mullen, Isaiah Johnson, Max Crosby, Foster Moreau, and Quinton Bell, and adding AJ McCarron and a 2020 third round pick in Brian Edwards. Shortly after the trade, Max signed a six year extension with the Bears worth $141 million, featuring 90 million guaranteed, becoming the highest paid defender in NFL history. Clear as mud? Thought so. Now, 2020 season, there's gotta be some some information about the Giants. And indeed there is. During a week two, 17-13 victory over the Giants, Mack recorded three tackles and his first sack of the season on Daniel Jones. He also recovered a strip sack forced by teammate Robert Quinn. Three weeks later against the Bucks, he recorded three tackles and sacked Tom Brady twice during the narrow 2019 victory and we saw one of those before. In total, during 2020, he played 16 games, got 50 tackles, 29 solo, 21 assisted, 9 sacks, which brings his career sack total in 7 seasons to 70.5. That's incredible. He got 11 tackles for loss last year, 3 forced fumbles, 2 fumble recoveries, 1 interception for 33 yards, and 3 passes deflected. He's got stats upon stats upon stats, and his name is Khalil Mack. Doesn't talk, just nods his head and I don't know if he's smiling or if he's happy or if he's angry. He's just attacks you <laughs> all the time and doesn't stop. Watson extends the hand up and Khalil Mack in a key hitch. Jar the ball out and Khalil Mack's on top of it. When you can threaten a guy with your speed and, and come off the edge and have an offensive lineman turn to his shoulders and open up his chest, yeah, it's OV from there. And Khalil Mack is one of the best at doing that. And you, you have to get your feet in the ground quickly. He's a really strong individual, and that's really where he makes a say. Snap back to Goff. And hit, and the ball is... The thing that's going to make this guy so successful, and the thing that makes any football player so successful in their role, and that's where football is such a team game, right? Khalil Mack is practicing sacking a quarterback day after day after day after day after day. He's going to get better and better and better at it. And when you think about that, for an athlete with that speed, that size, that strength, and that work ethic, and the ability to judo roll someone, you know, it's no wonder these guys excel in their positions because because in the game of rugby, there's just so much more that you have to learn. You know, there's, there's, there's so much more of a spread of the skill across different attributes, different tasks that you have to do in a rugby field. But I will say, tackling is certainly one of the most important. And uh, Khalil Mack knows how to tackle. Especially quarterbacks. Here comes pressure and he goes down. Khalil Mack with a sack. Khalil, nice job, Mack. Khalil Mack, the sack. Get that pressure cranked up and let it rip. You know, every myth, you know, every story you hear about him, that's, that's true. That's true. Cuts it back to pass. Oh! That's straight up respect. That is a big tight end playing for the Patriots who don't take shit from anyone. But it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter how big you are, you're going to respect this guy. And uh, it looks as if Adam Thielen is about to get lit up like a Christmas tree. Oh, by a no. No, just stripped. He just took it out of his hands. He continues to shine. I like that. So I would assume that would be his 33-yard interception, which was nice. Um, would have really appreciated a bit of a stiff arm or possibly even a 
you know, a truck at the end there. Bit of a shoulder block, as they say. But that's okay. It is what it is. And we move on. So thanks for watching, guys. In the next one, we are looking at... I'm going to cheat here. Oh, yeah. DK Metcalf. So I better get that off the wall and on my back. Let's get into this. DK Metcalf, number 22 on the list. Sorry, guys. I know this video is about Khalil Mack. But when you're talking about a DK Metcalf, man, you're going to struggle to get me more interested in a video than this next one. So stay tuned and let's get into it. Peace out, guys.